Well, hello and welcome to the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 9th, 2020. Uh, regarding the Stimulus Check and the Stimulus Package, the Democrats don't want a standalone bill because they're basically saying that they would rather have a large comprehensive bill that will actually be able to reach out to more of the, all, the, all the people that need it, whereas a standalone bill will basically just, you know, hit certain people and wouldn't get all the groups that need to have the money. On Thursday evening, President Trump basically said he wanted a larger stimulus package as well. Trump tweeted uh, this morning that the COVID relief bill is moving along. Go big. And now the Republicans up their game, taking their $1.62 trillion bill to $1.8 trillion. This is basically a big compromise because if you remember, the De Republicans started off with a $1 trillion bill, then they went up to $1.5 trillion, then they went up to $1.62 trillion, and now they're up to $1.8 trillion. So that so they made a big old compromise. The Federal Reserve uh, Bank presidents continue to warn our politicians about the ec economic damage that will be caused by delaying any stimulus packages. Nancy Pelosi in, is invoking the 25th Amendment in an attempt to remove the president from office and then also COVID-19 cases are on the alarming rise. They're going up basically. Yesterday, Trump called up the key Republican politicians in order to advocate for a larger stimulus package. So basically Trump wants them to go big or go home. This is a good thing. Trump says he is open to something greater than what's on the table, as far as the stimulus, as far as the stimulus tax talks go. And then the stimulus talks between uh, Pelosi and Mnuchin are going well, but Pelosi says she won't do any standalone bills because she didn't want to leave out any groups of people that need the money. Who's that nice of her? Even though Pelosi is against a standalone bill she said why she did the airline bill as a standalone bill is because the airlines is a special industry and it is because of national security isn't that nice well national con security concerns should i say as of now mnuchin told pelosi that trump wants to do a big and comprehensive stimulus package so basically now pelosi knows as well the politicians are feeling the, the pressure to strike a deal for many reasons. The unemployment claim that came out yesterday came out weaker than they actually expected it to. They were actually expecting it to come out a lot better than it did. So this one came out really bad for them. As you notice, our unemployment rate is going up every week. We're getting close to, like, what, a million, over a million people per day get, applying for unemployment. So which means our unemployment numbers are basically skyrocketing. Okay. <clears throat> this had came out weaker than expected. They are still four times higher than the pre-pandemic pre levels. The stock market reacted badly because of what Trump said on Tuesday about stopping stimulus talks. The airline is still basically intensing fighting their lobbying efforts to get money so they don't have to put people on furlough and or lay them off as a, as a last resort um, and the Federal Reserve continues its issues and warning the politicians about how bad it's going to get without further stimulus and with them delaying the stimulus talks as well many times this week the Federal Reserve issued several warnings about the economic damage that would be Great, uh, sorry, created by delaying the stimulus packages. The Federal Reserve Bank president of Cleveland said that, that delaying the stimulus package would put put a dent in the efforts to bring the economy back with a very low, slow, very very slow recovery. So in other words, without more stimulus, or we're gonna have a big dent in our economy that's gonna hurt us a lot, and our recovery is gonna be a lot slower than expected or intended. The Federal Reserve Bank president of Chicago said that any other stimulus package will play 
an enormously powerful role in helping households and businesses on the brink of collapse. So you got one guy talking about more stimulus and what it's going to do if we don't get it. We got the other bank, federal bankers or bank president saying that if another stimulus will actually do this for our economy, help it out. And let's see, the politicians are actually listening to what they're saying. I mean, because, come on, I mean, you got the Senate on a two week break because of a COVID scare. You got the House of Representatives out doing some campaigning because, so they're off basically two weeks after election, but they're on call. So in case a bill does come across that they vote on, they can call them back and they all come back to office, vote, then go back and campaign again. We just hope the politicians will understand how serious the situation for the American family is, basically. We need the politicians to act with a sense of urgency. They need, so we want them to act very fast, basically. Nancy Pelosi is saying that Trump is in an altered state of mind from his COVID infection. She is invoking the 25th Amendment on Trump. In a in a basically in an attempt to remove Trump from president. Under the 25th Amendment, a president can be stripped of the power if he or she is declared unfit for duty. There would be a uh, panel created to determine whether the president has the capacity to perform his job. The panel would comprise of 17 members, which include physicians, psychiatrists, psychiatrists, <laughs> shrinks basically, and high-ranking officials such as former presidents, former vice presidents, as well as other officials. In order to carry this act, this out, this bill out basically, is what, is, what, it, it's, what it is, is a bill, they would it'd have to go on a vote to the House of Representatives and, how, and the Senate. Well, we know it would probably pass the House of Representatives, which is democratically run, the minute it hits the represent House of the Senate, since it's Republicans, it's probably going to be just like the Heroes Act One did upon arrival. And the White House officials are scrambling to get out those two hundred dollar Trump cards to the thirty three million seniors before Election Day. And Mitch McConnell don't believe any stimulus packages will happen before elections. Wasn't that nice? We're not going to have any stimulus packages happening before elections. So we're not going to get no help. But hey, the seniors might. They might get the $200. I mean, won't that help? Not a lot. But until then, I mean, the rest of people get to starve. We get to suffer. We get to go homeless. And you get to see a nice little pot flag by my head. <laughs> but for now, I will end my broadcast. And thank you for joining me. I'm always looking for more viewer content. In other words, I want you to take video of your surroundings and your situations and send them to my Dropbox. Uh, there's, I'll try to include a link in my description, but if I didn't, there's one in a video back. I think two videos back that actually has a Dropbox link, link to it for you to use. Um, but until, until then, you guys have an excellent evening and stay safe out there. Remember, we're all in this together. Bye.